Hey, Shauna. You asked the question. Do you know what love is? And it won't get out of my mind. It keeps going round and round and round. Do you know what love is? is love. I'm very blessed. I have what they call a gift of love. My mum loved me. Oh, she did love me. My father. But anyway, he loved me. And then when I was 18, because I was so very unhappy at home, we weren't allowed to leave home in those days, officially, until you were 18, unless you were put out. So on my 18th birthday, I left home. I'd already been going courting, whatever you like to say. My husband for nearly two years by then, so we then got married. So we've been together now 36 years at least. 36 years. If you count the courting days, that's 38 years. Um, and I love him now more than I ever did. Um, we don't live together. Uh, the last four years we haven't lived together um, because of circumstance of me being ill, etc. But when I first met him and I first went out with him, oh, I loved him, but not really, not in the way that we should. Um, it was a selfish type of love in those days. It was a me type of love, what I could get out of it. And then over the years, various things happened, and my uh, spiritual side of my life took off. Um, but I don't think it was until I was about middle thirties. Even though I'd done all the business of um, accepting God at a certain age and going through prayers and stuff like that, all that had gone on. But I think it was when I was about 30 old when all of a sudden it hit me. What the spiritual side of love was and how God had given up his son to die on the cross. I thought about my son. I thought, there's no way on God's earth I'd let my son go to the cross. And suddenly it hit me that God loved me. Moi, little old me. God loved me. And all of a sudden it didn't matter a dicky bird about anybody else, whether they loved me or not. Because God knew me, the real me, not the one that I put on for show for the whole world to see, not the one that I put on show for my husband to see. But God knew the real me. And I was set free. I never needed to tell another lie again in my life. I was set free. And Consequently, I was set free to love me. And actually, even though I've had a lot of problems with my weight and all, I wish I was thinner, I wish I were this, I wish I were that. Basically, underneath it all, I love me. And it's only when you do that, when you accept that God loves you and you love you. Because if you don't love yourself, well, you're calling God a liar, aren't you? Because God loves you so much that he gave his son to die for you.
then he could have you in heaven with him. Hallelujah. We're going to have a party up there. Now, I know I might have stirred up, and I don't want to stir up anything because I'm happy with YouTube and I'm really happy with my friends. Um, and you can all say it nicer than I can. You can all do nicer videos than I can. But it won't go out of my head. So until it goes out of my head, whether I send it up or not, is irrelevant. I've got to get it out of my head. Um, and so until you can put that other person first, until that other person's happiness is more important than your own, I don't think we know what real love is. But once you do know what it is, you can give it to all and sundry, because it's free. You know, we can give it away. Suppose I grew up in the 60s of the free love era. I never got into it much myself, but it was nice to be around it at the time. So yeah, love is loving that other person more than yourself. I love my man now more than I ever, ever did. Because his happiness is important to me. What he wants in life is important to me. Oh yes, I kick my heels every now and again. I think, I want this, I want that. But really, nah. It's what he wants that's more important. So I don't know if I've answered it. I don't know if there is an answer to it. There's all the scriptural answers to it. Yeah, you know, God is love and da 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 da. And that is so true. But for you to get personal happiness in love, I don't know, darling. I don't know if I've given you the right answer. All I know is the right answer for me. Just until I started loving myself. I accepted that God loved me. So does it matter about anybody else? He knew the real me. Does it really matter that no one else loves you? God does. That's more important than anything in the whole wide world. So maybe I won't give it to you. Maybe it's something for me to do. Maybe I will. But if I do, God bless you, love. And I pray you find that. I'm not sure that you haven't found it already, really. But it was a good time to bring it up for us all to think about it. Thank you, love. Bye, my love. You take care. Okay. Bye.